One of the motivation models that you'll hear a lot about in business is Maslow's hierarchy, uh, which talks about the hierarchy of needs. In this lecture, we'll go into that in a little bit more detail. Now, the psychologist Abraham Maslow theorized that people have five basic needs, physiological, getting enough to eat, etc., security needs, feeling safe, social needs, interacting with others, uh, esteem, and then self-actualization. Maslow's hierarchy arranges these needs into the order in which he felt people strive to satisfy them, forming an, a pyramid, which is sometimes called Maslow's pyramid or hierarchy of needs. The figure on this slide displays that hierarchy. We'll talk about each in a little more detail. Psycho uh, physiological needs, the first and most basic needs to be satisfied. These are the essentials for living, food, shelter, clothing. According to Maslow, humans devote all of their efforts to satisfying physiological needs until they're met. Only when these needs are met can people start to focus on satisfying their next level needs, which is security. Security needs relate to protecting yourself from physical and emotional harm. Actions that may be taken to achieve security include reporting a dangerous workplace condition to management, maintaining safety equipment, purchasing insurance, um, with income uh, protection, that sort of thing. Uh, once those are s safety needs are satisfied, then they can achieve or seek to achieve social goals or social needs. These are the need for love, companionship, friendship, the desire of acceptance for others, uh, fulfilling social needs. A person may try many things, making friends with coworkers, joining a group, uh, volunteering at a hospital, throwing a party. Once their social needs have been satisfied, then people attempt to satisfy their needs for esteem, uh, esteem within that social context. Esteem needs relate to respect, both self-respect and respect from others. One aspect of esteem uh, is uh, of the esteem needs is competition, the need to feel that you can do something better than someone else or anyone else. Competition often motivates people to increase their productivity. Esteem needs are not as easily satisfied as the needs at lower levels in Maslow's hierarchy because they do not always provide tangible evidence of success. When they feel they've been achieved, some measure of the next level, self-actualization, becomes one's major goal. Self-actualization is at the top of the pyramid, and it is, it's the it means that you are being the best that you can be. You're actualizing your own potential. Self-actualization involves maximizing some aspect of yourself that you feel is your best way to express your life, if, if you will, or your living uh, situation. A self-actualized person feels that he or she is living life to its fullest in every way. So that's Maslow's hierarchy. You hear about it a lot in terms of workplace environments. If someone is sick, not feeling well, or they're hungry, they're not performing well in the office, you know, we need to make sure they get their food so they can start thinking about, and, and that they have that this sense of companionship, then they can start working on, um, you know, on improving their job performance. That's the kind of logic that's used when we think about Maslow's hierarchy in the business context. In the next lecture, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, a simpler model, which has more empirical support.